What's up guys, it's Sona and I have this holiday inspired makeup tutorial for you guys and I think this is perfect for pretty much any party but since the holidays are just around the corner I thought it'd be fun to give you guys two lip options and some sparkle on the eyes. So let's get started. So I don't know if you guys can tell but my eyes are so swollen and red and I don't know what's been going on with me but I'm like sensitive to the light. If you have any tips or you might know what's causing it, let me know in the comment section. Starting off with my foundation and today I'm changing it up a little bit using a heavier Chanel. Usually I like to use the Vita Lumiere Aqua which looks amazing on my skin but I don't like the color to be honest because it's not as yellow as I like it. And this one is pretty yellow and this one is in the shade 30 beige. So after buffing this into my skin I'm moving on to my concealer and I'm using the NARS concealer today because it's really creamy and I love the color. It's like a yellow base concealer so it really highlights lights my under eyes as well. So applying this the usual under the eyes a little bit on the center of my face and then buffing it in place. And of course setting all of this in place using a cover effects powder. I'm leaving my under eyes bare because we're gonna go in with a white setting powder and this one's by Laura Mercier and I'm just gonna place a little bit under my eyes to set that concealer. Okay, so I decided to put on some studs before I move on to the eyes just because I was feeling kind of naked, to be honest. Anyway, moving on to the chocolate bar by Too Faced. It is called a semi-sweet and I am loving this palette. I have to say my favorite color in this palette is called Butter Pecan and it's the highlighter that I'm applying right now. Honestly, it's so beautiful. I have to find out if it comes in a full size because if it does, I am all over it. I like to apply this on the high points of my cheeks, a little bit on top of my nose and just a little bit above my eyes because I do want an overall dewy finish. And as you can see, you can totally achieve that with this highlighter. Before I contour my face, I wanted to fill in my brows because I don't know, they're just looking really sparse right now. So I'm using CoverGirl's um, brow powder. The color is perfect, it matches my hair so beautifully, and I love the applicator. So I like to just apply this, um, you know, using the brush and making small strokes, and then after that, just brush it up for more of a natural finish. All right, time to contour and I'm using a matte bronzer and I've been using this for a while now. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer and I like to apply this with a small tapered brush as you can see and applying it on the hollows of my cheeks and really blending it well. And I also like to apply this on the sides of my nose and you know the usual forehead jawline to make sure my features are well defined. For my blush, I'm actually going to be using another bronzer and this is the Betty Luminizer by The Balm Cosmetics and obviously I love this because I've hit pan like a while back <laughs> and I like to just apply this on the apples of my cheeks and kind of blend it up and as you can see, it gives you that beautiful glow and I just absolutely love it. Alright, moving on to the eyes, I am using this 3D by Lorac and honestly it's so beautiful that I have two colors in this so I started off with the gold all over and then I'm going in with the silver because the silver has a lot more glitter so if you want a lot of glitter I would go with the silver so I like to pat this on using my fingers rather than a brush because since it's liquid it just deposits a lot better now that we have the base all over the lid we're gonna move on to contouring the crease with a bronze color so this one's called frosting it's from the same palette chocolate bar and I like to apply this with a small tapered but fluffy brush and kind of start from the outer corners and blend it in all the way for my liner, I am using this powder plus liner by CoverGirl. It's the same one that I used on my eyes, but this one's in black. So what you want to do is use a powder form. Anything you want to use is fine, but just make sure it's powder because that's when it's going to be more natural. So if you want the more, you know, subtle liner look, then you can use like an angled brush and use a black shadow and get it really close to your lash line or use a product like this because it's powder and the applicator is pretty easy to use. So getting it really Really close to my lash line both top and bottom and kind of extending it a little bit. So to set that glitter in place I decided to use caramel which is like a beautiful gold color in the palette and kind of pat this in place and using a black liner on my inner rim and this is gonna basically cancel out that redness and sort of that puffiness that I have so that's pretty much why I'm doing it but if you have small eyes I would skip this step instead maybe use an ivory pencil because that'll really open up your eye 
And of course, you want to apply several coats of mascara on both top and bottom of your lashes. I don't know if you guys can see, but I got a little bit of mascara under my eye. And I wanted to show you how I like to take it off. So what I like to do is let it dry completely. And then afterwards, grab a spoolie and flick it off. Just like that. For the lips, this is going to be the nude color, but of course I'll show you what the dark one looks like as well. This one is called Honeyed Bloom number 245 by CoverGirl, and I really like this because it complements my skin tone. And you can leave this look the way it is or pop on some lashes. I'm going to give you the option just in case. This one is by House of Lashes, and it's really natural, and I like to basically get this really close to my lash line. And as you can see, the change is very subtle. The left side has the false eyelash and the right side doesn't. So I feel like the left eye looks a little bit more lifted. So here is the complete look with sort of the soft and subtle approach with very minimal liner and nude lips. But if you want to take this to the next level, you can grab a gel eyeliner and intensify that line. So get it really close to your lash line. And as you can see, it's making it a lot darker and extend it again so that you have a beautiful cat eye. And now for the second lip option, I'm going in with a really dark and sort of a vampy look. I think this is perfect for fall, winter, it's just perfect for the holidays in general. So I'm applying this NYX pencil all over my lips to make sure that it kind of stains my lips. So throughout the day, the color really stays put. And topping it off with Dominatrix by Lorac Cosmetics and honestly this is one of my absolute favorite dark colors and I'm sure you guys can agree because every time you see a picture on my Instagram with this lip color you always request a tutorial so this is like I guess a special request for you guys. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more of my videos. I will see you next time. Love you. Bye. This is my brand new purse and again, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen it. But I really like it. It's uh, I just got it like a couple, two weeks ago maybe, and I've been holding it almost every day. It's just such a cute color and the texture and everything feels really nice and cozy and it fits a lot.